You know, for most people, and I'm definitely one of them, I don't know if mm, you are. Me too. Yeah. By mid-February, New Year's Eve resolutions are, are just a thing of the past. They're done. But yeah. if you've fallen off the horse, you can still get back on. Today, we'll find out how you can superpower your diet and life by changing the way you eat. Catherine Talmadge, author of Diet Simple and a nationally recognized health, wellness, and diet nutrition expert, is here to help today. Today, we're talking about surprising superfoods. Superfoods. These are things that are really good for you. These and they're things that are surprising because people love them. Okay. So we're talking chocolate, believe it or not. Love that. It's true. Everything you're hearing about chocolate, but it has to be cocoa, unsweetened cocoa, or dark chocolate. Okay. Right. Because the more processing the cocoa bean goes through, the fewer of those beneficial compounds are oh, in the chocolate product. So chowing down on, on a supersized Hershey bar is not going to so do it So if you like milk you. chocolate, it's out? Well, it's not out. <laughs> there are levels of flavanols, the compounds in cocoa, in every chocolate that you mm. eat, but they're higher in the cocoa, and then as the processing increases, they get lower and lower and lower. And of course, you want to keep the calories down too. Have an ounce a day. It relaxes the blood vessels, mm -hmm. lowers blood pressure, has all kinds of positive effects for the heart. It's basically a little bit, not a lot. So this is an this ounce a day, all in the sizes. It's interesting how many of these foods, which are you know in history or uh, you know through tradition, are, are considered to be aphrodisiacs, really in fact have certain properties. There. Absolutely, for centuries, chocolate has cocoa has been used as a, used as a medicine. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until the 1500s when Europeans discovered it that they started adding fat and sugar to it to make it a chocolate dessert. And then, about 10 years ago, a Harvard scientist found these Indians in Panama who lived on this stuff and had very low blood pressure. Hmm. And that's when the study of chocolate took place and they began to discover, wow, there are real health properties yeah. in the cocoa well, bean. People like to hear that. You also have wine on this table. Wine is another example. Wine is made from? Grapes. The grapes. <laughs> She's like, come and on, guys, come on. <laughs> Eighty percent of the value of a grape is in the skin and the seeds. And so red wine being mashed with the skin and the seeds has the maximum amount of nutrients and compounds that actually help the heart mm -hmm. uh, in, improve blood flow, reduce blood clotting, have all kinds of benefits for the heart, maybe reduce inflammation. Um, now, could you derive the same benefits from grape juice? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. If you're, but it's just not as fun. And, but the <laughs> moderation <laughs> aspect is very important, and it yes. should be drunk with meals. Five ounces a day for women, no more than 10 ounces a day for men. Okay. All alcohol does increase good cholesterol, and white wine is also good for you, but red wine is the top. It's the, top. It's the most nutritious because it contains 10 times the amount of compounds as white wine. Yeah, yeah. resveratrol is the key ingredient, right? In, well, in, in it's wine one of many. Juice. It's one of many. Wine is very complex because uh, it's crushed with the skin and the seeds, which are loaded with compounds, hundreds of compounds in one little grape. Mm -hmm. And then the alcohol actually brings out some of the compounds and helps it become more bioavailable in our bodies, so our bodies can actually use it. Well, Catherine, uh, we, should have started, we should have started out with, with the good stuff last, chocolate. And, I know, and I know. Let's, let's, you have, you have assorted stuff uh, uh, good stuff as well here. Nuts, nuts and berries. Well, and nuts, absolutely nuts. We know that nut eaters around the world have fewer heart attacks. They're very important in the Mediterranean diet, as is olive oil, as the primary fat in cooking as opposed mm -hmm. to butter. Um, but all kinds of nuts. Here I have pistachios, almonds, walnuts. Each nut has a unique benefit. But pistachios are good for the eyes. I love pistachios. Walnuts are high in omega-3s. Almonds are high in protein and the lowest in saturated fat. So all nuts are good for you and it's great to get a variety. And everyone knows about greens, spinach, yeah, collards. And, but the <laughs> greens, you hear that? eating exactly. two to four times a week will reduce eye disease dramatically reduces cataracts and also mm. macular degeneration, the major cause of blindness. Okay. Blueberries contain uh, compounds which improve uh, the brain, maybe cognition in the brain. Um, of course, people who eat more cabbage and broccoli and foods in mm. that family get Edamame more cancer. over there, right? Is that what, uh, Soybeans, soybeans. Uh, reduce uh, heart disease. We know it reduces cholesterol. 
And grains, certain grains reduce cholesterol. Most people know about oats, but barley is mm. even more powerful at reducing cholesterol mm. than oats and rye. Three grains reduce cholesterol, oats, barley, and rye. Interesting. In oh. your book, Catherine, you talk about eating salads and different things. You say eating salad for lunch could, could help you lose 36 pounds a year. Uh, let's see what else you have here. For frozen dinners, you say eating four frozen dinners a week could help you lose 18 pounds? Yes. How, figure that one. I always thought frozen foods, maybe not as good for you, but well, re research shows when people make small changes that they can live with, mm -hmm. these changes are more likely to last. And that when you add fruits and vegetables to your meals, you can naturally feel more full for fewer calories. And that's why I tell people, eat a fruit or a vegetable with every meal, with every snack. I took a client to the farmer's market the other day. She bought seven Asian pears and seven apples for herself, seven each for her husband, uh, and we got blueberries at the grocery store, um, tomatoes, so that she would have enough for the week, and she promised me she'd finish everything. Everything, that don't throw week. any of it away. Right, right yeah. exactly. The more fruits and vegetables you eat, the easier it is to lose weight, because these foods are full of water, fiber, yeah volume. Right. right. They so instead of going cold turkey on things, just make the little changes like we see right here Absolutely. on the table. Absolutely. And, and the beauty that. of all this, all this food here, is, is that there's a lot of really good, fun stuff to eat oh, as well. Absolutely. So that's great. When what people come to for? see me, they say it's more fun and positive than they ever imagined. Catherine Talmadge from <laughs> The Diet Simple book. It's just a, a wonderful, wonderful idea. And and if you, you stick with this diet yourself, don't oh, you? Yeah. Oh, sure. I'm perfect. That's that's why <laughs> that's why you look perfect. She's perfect. She doesn't thank need you. her own book. Very far from it. Catherine, I teach people you. how to splurge and have their cake and eat it, too. We like that. Catherine, thank you for being here. Up next on Let's Talk Live, the benefits of a good massage are endless. We'll find out how beneficial they are in our sponsored segment with Massage Envy. From Jennifer Hudson's big win to the debut of U2's new song, Everybody is Talking About the Grammys. We'll get the lowdown a little bit later on. And email us your thoughts. We want to know what you think of anything, including what do you like best about Washington? Small, good community, convenience, good people, uh, all those things.